Hi guys, so today I created this look using four shadows and it's a softer, well actually I wouldn't consider this super soft, but softer look using some red tones, some pinkies, a little bit of glitter, a nice colorful lip that I don't always wear, I tend to wear dark, so I hope you guys enjoy this look and if you do, please give this a thumbs up, like this video, share, and I'll see you guys next time. So I've already moisturized and prepped my face and primed it with my Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser Primer and I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Fit to Be Concealer in 10 Fair just to cover up any little blemishes or red spots that we've got going on. And then I like to go in either with a beauty blender or a little concealer brush. This is a posh double-sided foundation concealer brush. I'm also going to go in with my beauty blender and just soften it up a little bit. And then I'm going to go in with my L'Oreal Indalo Pro Glow in the shade 204. And we are going to dot this on our face and... Hello my silent little love Just too shy to fly on down Do you hide yourself away? Girl, ready, set, gorgeous, and I forgot yeah, what shade this is, but I know it's the lightest shade. Powder, loose powder, and translucent. Why don't you let yourself come now? So help me cause I'm falling. And then I'm just going to brush away whatever I got on my lid. So I don't want to get in my nose itches. I also like to bake my frown lines or my smile lines just because I know they crease a lot. So I'll put some powder in there and bake them. But now we're going to jump right into the eyes while we're biking. So I'm going to go with the Benefit Stay Don't Stray Primer and Prime My Eyelids. Blend out with my finger. Deeper over time, help me cause these hearts beat so loud. You give it up to me, let your love pour out, and I will give you. And now that that's all blended out, I'm going to set it just with I have my Real Techniques setting brush. I'm just going to set it with a little bit of my face powder because it's powder, so it's translucent just so it's easy to blend and work with. Oops, I get powder everywhere. So today we are going to be doing some, I'm really obsessed with reds lately and red toned browns and things like that. So we're gonna do an easy kind of eye look, a halo, my favorite, with I have a new Anastasia Quad that I made. So, this is what we're going to be working with today. And first, I'm going to take this color in my crease with my Ulta, hmm, just a fluffy crease brush. And this is actually my color switch from Sephora. Love this. Love it. So, I'm just going to take a little 
bit on my brush and we're gonna go into our crease. All the slow I feel. I'm going with this sienna, which is this corner one right here, and I'm going to go in my crease again with a hmm, with my Urban Decay brush that comes in your Naked Smoky palette. I'm just going to color switch it again. And I'm going to focus this one a little bit more in the crease, not a little bit lower, not so wide. Help me cause this never felt so real. You give it up to me. I'm gonna go back in with that same brush that I did my burnt orange with. I'm just gonna blend those two together with no extra product, just blending. Let your love pour out. With my Aveda One brush, which is a short little, short little shader, and I'm gonna go in with a blazing, which is this red up here, more like a terracotta red. And I'm gonna go on the outer third of my eye and slightly into the crease. And I'm also going to go in to my inner corner eye, creating a halo effect, leaving the center open for more shadow. I will give you all the love I feel. And then I'm going to go in with a pencil brush. This is a Real Techniques Pixel Point Eyeliner Brush. I'm just going to really pack on that blazing in the inner corner because that one tends to fade the most. And we're going to blend again. Remember, take your time blending. Less is more. You can always add. It's harder to take away. Hello, my treasure chest. Alright, so now we're going to go in with our fourth color. Now remember, this is an easier look. It's only four colors. It might be a little, a little extra because it is reds and stuff, but hey, I really like this, so. I can't pop this one out, but this one is pink champagne, and I absolutely love it. I'm gonna actually go in with, um, hmm, I'm just gonna go right in with my finger because those are our best tools sometimes. I'm going to place that in the open whites of our eye. And there you have it. If you have a little bit of fallout, it's alright. You can always take some extra concealer and wipe it away. But I'm just going to go in and blend this one a little bit more. So these are what our eyes look like now. If you were, if you wanted more dimension or depth, you could even go in your crease with a deeper brown or if you want more of a nighttime look and you're wearing this out on the town you could take this outer third and add that a deeper brown to there but I'm gonna wipe away my bake now I'm just gonna my real techniques this is a blush brush but I just use it for everything I love it for powder so I'm not gonna put any eyeliner on I'm just going to put some la curl my eyelashes on my or maybe put some lashes on. Um, I'm going to do outer corner lashes just to give a little bit of a wispier effect, but I'm going to curl my lashes and put some mascara on. Everything I feel is real. It's just a beating in my heart. So I'm waiting for you now. Why don't you come into the light? Everyone I've seen all day can never matter. So now we're going to move on to our face, finish this off. I'm going to use my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Contour in the shade, this is the lighter shade, 
most of my things are in the lighter shade, but I'm going to go in my, my Real Technique sculpting brush and just carve out my cheeks. And I'm also going to go and, and bronze up a little bit with my Rimmel Natural Bronzer in 021 Sunlight. And I'm going to go in my Real Techniques powder brush. We're going to be taking the Milani Powder Blush in color 01, Romantic Rose. Actually, it's not doing enough for me, so... Blend it. I'm actually going to go in with the Jaclyn Hill palette. My mirror today. I'm going to go in with my Jaclyn Hill palette. I don't want to blind you guys. I'm going to use the middle shade, which is Amaretto. Forget your precious mouth. You can't ignore your beauty now. And then for highlighters today, I'm gonna go in with Champagne Pop first and then for Psycho Pop. So help me cause I'm falling deeper. It's not like we're highlighted to the heavens. Oh, I didn't. You know what? I lied. We're going to go back in with Champagne Pop, right underneath the brow bone. Help me ask these hearts beat so loud. The Rimmel Lip Liner in Addiction, and the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in Catnip. Give it up to me, let your love pour out, and I will give you all this love I feel. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Remember, you can always change it and make it your own. You can always do different colors. This is one of my favorite eyeshadow kind of methods. I love the halo look. I love making my eyes look bigger with end lashes and just wisping them out. So, if you guys want to recreate this look, please tag me. I'd love to see it. So. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Bye.